name is Bonze Hewitt. I am the principal at Canyon Creek Elementary and we have just been designated a Microsoft Showcase School. Superintendent Bowles came to me right after I was asked to be the principal of this school and said that he wanted us to become the first Microsoft Showcase School in Utah. And I wondered what in the world that was. I knew it would be pretty important, especially if we had to be the first in Utah. And so I started gathering some information. It seemed really ominous at first. But we, um, we developed a plan. It was a really lofty plan. And our teachers worked really hard for two years to earn this designation. When you apply for a showcase school and you, you receive it, that's only for one year. You're expected each year to follow up and apply. That means the continuation of learning keeps going on and your continuation of improvement goes on, which is also great because then you don't just take things for granted and let things slide. So we're always working on improvement, always working on having better knowledge, better teaching strategies, and student learning. That's always our goal. Some people might think that we're plugged in all day to computers and we're not. I think that being unplugged is just as important as being plugged. Activities should be hands-on, books should be read, language arts should be true. All of those things, pencil paper activities are important too depending on what they are. So it's not just the computer aspect, it's the whole entire aspect. Over the course of the last three years, we've helped our teachers um, learn about 21st century learning. We've helped them uh, by bringing them together for some training once a month and um, breaking down each one of the dimensions of 21st century learning, uh, talking about how to integrate it in the classroom, what tools support that dimension of 21st century learning, um, and then also doing some modeling where teachers were teaching each other um, on those different topics so that we could really have a fully integrated approach. It wasn't just one person standing up presenting, it was all of us. It made you look at education in a different way. So often people want to say that STEM is just technology, but by coming to Microsoft School we found out that it's so much more. It's about collaboration, it's about being a problem solver, it's about looking at things in a new way. And so we always want to be like, oh I do STEM because I have technology, I use the iPad, when really it's looking at things in a group mindset, doing a collaborative approach instead of just the regular way, or telling the kids the problem and having them figure out the solution. And that's what becoming a Microsoft School taught me, that it's more than just technology. It's a way of thinking, it's a way of being. Part of the point of all of this is to help the students know kind of the engineering process or the revising process, that when you create something, you're not done with it. You create it. Then you look at it carefully, does it really do what I want it to? And usually it doesn't at first. And then to think through, how can I improve it? How can I make it work better? So what we've done, they first designed their structure. It was a house. And after that, they built it. They tried it out. And if it didn't work, they tried again. And they built it again. So it's called engineer process. And they need to know it because a lot of professions use that. So if we prepare them since first grade, once they get to college level or to high school, they will know it how to do it and it will be really useful in their profession in the future. Well for sixth grade we do math with blended learning. So I have my class divided into three stations. Um, half of my class is out in the hall where they do a technology station and a peer study station while the other half of the class is in the classroom with me during direct instruction. Right now, they are working on an Ozobot project where we're reviewing distance on the coordinate plane. Um, the coordinate plane is just a, a grid system where the kids are learning about real numbers, so positive and negative numbers, um, how to find distance between two points, and um, plotting coordinate points on a grid. And then they're coding their Ozobots to travel to those points um, on their coordinate grid that they've created. I'm constantly telling my students it's so cool that I don't know what jobs you're going to have. So here, I'm trying to prepare you for future jobs that aren't even in existence yet. So it's just teaching them all the computer skills of coding and keyboarding here in second grade to really build the foundation so they can hit the ground running when they're in upper grades doing even more of those coding and engineering things. When you walk into our school, you might not know that we're a Microsoft Showcase School. We have a sign that Microsoft sent us, but you want to know what that means, how, how that has changed things. And hopefully, 
Just walking through our school and looking in classrooms, you can see that things have changed, but things are not the same that they've always been. Sure, teach, good teaching is still good teaching, but it's the additives that we have that make it better teaching. Thank you.